Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. We are getting closer and closer to transforming my bedroom into a complete oasis, and there is no better way of doing that other than thrifting. Hi everyone, I'm Allie and welcome to my channel and welcome to our fun little thrifting adventure. I really enjoy taking you guys along with me to check out what is out there, especially because we are looking for decor pieces to style in the bedroom. My boyfriend and I have found that we just love going thrifting together. It's kind of like one of our date day activities and we just love it. So we're gonna look for some of our meaningful pieces by going to thrift stores and antique stores. Now, when I'm approaching a very specific project, when it involves going to the thrift store, I like to come up with a little checklist. So these are the items that I'm going to be searching for while we're out shopping. We have some full days of thrifting to do, so let's get started. On day one, I started my thrifting adventure at a Goodwill. And honestly, this Goodwill is not as good as it used to be like the very first time I ever stopped in it. They've transitioned to all these metal shelves that barely have anything on them. And so I kind of felt like I wasn't gonna walk away with anything on this trip. But there was one section that caught my eye and that is the frames, which is always a great thing to check out at Goodwill. And when I saw this really cute bifold frame, I knew I had to take it home. The second stop of the day was at this local thrift shop that honestly was so overwhelmingly crowded and hot on the inside that I only got a couple of clips. I really didn't find anything I loved, just these few things that I'm showing you right here, but they really weren't worth purchasing in the end just because of how crowded it was. I really just wanted out. <laughs> For the third stop of the day, we decided to go to the antique store. And I know usually you think of an antique store and think it is expensive, but nowadays I think the prices are pretty comparable to the thrift store, especially if you know what you're looking for, you come in with a plan and you really search what they have to offer because you're guaranteed to find very affordable treasures like this box right here. I went in knowing I wanted some sort of box or display piece. And when I found this, I was just so in love with it. It's an old art kit, and I knew that this needed to come find a brand new home with me. If you know what this item is, drop it in the comments. I wanna know if you also can guess what it is. I know what it is, and I think it was a really cool find. One of the things on my list that I mentioned that I'm looking for is really great pottery. I think the antique store is a really awesome place to find unique pottery that honestly is a little bit more heavy duty and has that like organic antique, of course, feel like this lovely little jug or vase. I think it's gonna be really cute styled in the bedroom. And also don't forget about all the hardware. If you love DIYs, you can always find some really cool old hardware at antique stores like these beautiful brass patinaed knobs and when I saw them I knew they're going to be perfect for a furniture piece that I had already planned on replacing the knobs so I made sure to bring home quite a few as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, thrifting and antique stores are kind of like my happy place. So in a sense, that's kind of like my version of retail therapy. But let's talk about a more important type of therapy. It's a brand new gear, and I'm sure many of us are setting those personal goals. For me, I'm trying to set new goals about being less hard on myself and really kind of getting over that perfectionist mindset so that I don't hold my own self back from achieving my dreams and goals. And I think if you are a creative person like I am, you can relate to those feelings of perfectionism kind of holding you back, whether it is in your DIY projects, your workplace, or really just in life in general. And that's why talking to a therapist can help you set those SMART goals for that personal development. And SMART means specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound goals. That's why today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. 
BetterHelp makes starting therapy so much easier, way less intimidating, and also so much more comfortable. Because you can have sessions with your therapist over a phone call, video chat, or even through messaging. BetterHelp can match you to one of 30,000 therapists in their network based on your needs, preferences, and location, and gives you access to a wider range of therapists that maybe you can't find in your own area. And you can join the 4 million people who are using BetterHelp by going to betterhelp.com slash actuallyally. That li will be linked in the description box to get started with 10% off your first month. And once you do that, you'll get started by filling out a questionnaire that asks you about what challenges you're going through, what type of therapist you'll like, and in most cases, you'll find a match within 48 hours. After that, you can schedule sessions at a time that works for you. And if you find your therapist is just not a good fit, you can avoid that awkward breakup by just with a click of a button in your settings, it will allow you to switch therapists at any time for no additional cost. So if you want to achieve those personal development goals for 2024 and you want someone to help guide you through it, then BetterHelp is the perfect place to start. All you have to do is click that link in the description box or head to betterhelp.com, that's betterhelp.com slash actuallyally, and you'll get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you could connect with a therapist and see if BetterHelp works for you. Well, we have a whole lot of other thrifting to to do so let's go and see what we found on day two on day two since the previous day of antiquing was so successful we stopped at another antique store this one has a lot of really affordable pieces and also some really unique pieces like this chandelier one of the first things that caught my eye was this ice bucket or wine bucket. It's actually a Pottery Barn item. I'm not sure if it's really silver, but it had a beautiful patina, but for more than $40, I just could not justify the price. So that one was gonna have to stay. As I mentioned, I'm on the hunt for frames. I thought this one was really pretty and unique, but then I noticed the decals were plastic and they were asking 20 bucks for it. So I didn't think that one was worth it. Of course, whenever I go to an antique store, I can't resist looking at all of the brass, especially brass candlesticks. I don't know why, I just think they are so pretty, but I had to refrain myself because I have so many brass candlesticks already. I thought these light switch plates were really cool and they didn't have exactly the ones I needed for my makeover, but it got me thinking, should I switch out the light switch plates? That's such a fun and easy little renter hack. Let me know in the comments if you think this is a cute idea or would this maybe be a little tacky? I am kind of toying with it and think it might be something to add just a little extra detail in the space. All right, I am back with my thrift antique store haul, and I feel like this was super successful, maybe one of the most successful thrifting antiquing trips I have ever had and maybe ever will have. Got a lot of the things that we were looking for for decorating the bedroom. So let's go through and let me show you everything that I picked out. We'll start with the first stop, which was Goodwill. And that stop, there wasn't too many things as far as decor goes, but did have some decent luck with picture frames. The first one I picked up was this giant one, which I just thought it was really pretty. I'm not a huge fan of kind of like the crackly appearance around the frame, but I think that the colors are exactly what we're looking for. And I just thought the mat was so pretty with that double layered mat. This is gonna look really, really nice whether it's in the bedroom or somewhere else. The next one I picked up was this little double fold frame. I think this is so cute and will be really cute styled on a dresser or nightstand with two different pictures in it. We had a little mishap where we broke the glass in the one frame in the transport of it, but this is like a standard five by seven frame, I believe. So 
it'll be replaceable. I'll probably just take one out of a frame that I'm not using right now to fix it. This is just really cute and I love that this will add like a little classy touch when we display it. And then the next one is this frame, which is not really in the best shape where the back doesn't want to stay in, so that's interesting. But I really liked the light wood with the ornate detail. I might do a little bit of something like a little thrift flip to this piece here, but this one had just a lot of good potential for a DIY project. We got a big haul then from our second stop. Let me show you everything that we picked out because it's not, you didn't get to see everything during the thrift vlog. First up, we found these really pretty art prints. I guess one goes this way. And I just love original art. These are by a local artist and I thought these were just so pretty and they're also charcoal, which I love charcoal art anyway. So I'm really excited to get these framed and get these displayed. Okay, I also am on the hunt constantly for coffee table books and I found this one, which is a history of American painting which I think is perfect. I love any sort of art book or home decor, interior design. And so this was perfect. It is falling apart a little bit. And I thought, well, if we end up not using it as a book because it is falling apart, could always take these out and use some of the images that are printed as prints around the apartment. Just throw them in a frame. It'd be really a good idea. Another little item that I picked up was this little jug or vase. I just thought it was cute. I have a, we have plans to kind of put a shelf situation. Can never go wrong with really nice pottery. And the antique store always has really great pottery that I think stands up even better than what you can find at the thrift store. Now this one here is my favorite find of that day which is this art box I featured it during the vlog you got to see it but I just think it was so cool when I found this so it opens up has a palette as well as a bunch of old art supplies on the inside and I just thought this was so cool and I might find a way to either repurpose it or turn it into a really cool wall piece that could be used in my craft room or something because I just thought this was the neatest thing and I just knew I needed to bring it home. And then finally, I have a bunch of hardware that I picked out. So let me just pull that out of here. I got a bunch of brass knobs. I think these are really cool. I realized that the piece that I needed them for only needed two knobs each and I thought they needed four, so I bought way too many. So we might see if we can turn that into a DIY. Then I also just picked up a couple other little things like these brass knob plates, which I thought could be cute for some sort of project, as well as two of these little keyhole details, which I think were cute. I may or may not be using them for the same piece that those knobs will be featured on. We'll see. <laughs> And then finally on a second day, we checked out another antique store and I was also very successful there as well. So I'm gonna start with the stuff that's outside of the box first, I think. The first thing I found was this really cool antique style frame or Victorian style frame with the four different windows, which is just so neat. Now I looked it up, it's not really an antique or like vintage, maybe it's more vintage. It's not really like an antique Victorian frame. It's a reproduction but it is so pretty. And I think this is just a very unique one of a kind piece. I also picked up this, which feels a bit questionable because it is a spoon rack for little decorative souvenir spoons, which I have no use for, but I've seen people take these and transform them and repurpose them. And so we're gonna be using this one in an upcoming thrift flip. Well, that will actually be the next video. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on seeing this. As I mentioned, I've been looking for really nice pottery and I saw some vases or vessels, I don't know what to call these, stoneware vases at the other thrift store or the other antique store, but they were really expensive. So when I found these for a lot less, I knew that I wanted to bring them home. I love the color and I love just how heavy they are. Um, they had this decorative string on them, which we don't need, <laughs> but they look really, really cool. And yeah, I can't wait to style these throughout the bedroom makeover. Really quickly, I just picked up this little frame. It was $6, which I thought was a fair price for a little ornate frame. I also picked up this really cute little box and it says on the bottom that it was hand carved, which I thought was cool. It was $12, which I thought was a decent price for like a hand carved box. You can even see the hinges look like they were even screwed in by hand and this was built by hand. 
And I thought this would just be a really nice little nightstand piece for me where I could throw some jewelry in at the end of the day that I maybe I forgot to take off or whatever. And lastly, we found this ceramic twin lens camera, which first of all, it's cool as is. I noticed on the top, it says that it's Schnapps Oflex. So it is a decanter for, I guess, Schnapps. It's supposed to have like a little flash that goes here as a cork, but that part was missing. But this piece was just so unique and different. And I think it's just one of those fun things about going to the antique store or even thrift store is finding conversation pieces. And this is definitely one. We are super into film photography, photography in general. So when you can find pieces that feel very personal, that's when you know that you are thrifting right. And that concludes this thrift haul. I'm so excited to start working on some of these projects. The very next video, you're not gonna wanna miss it. And I mentioned, we're gonna be doing some thrift flips. We're gonna be flipping some of these items. So you're not gonna wanna miss it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to check out BetterHelp with the link in my description box. You can get 10% off your first month of therapy. If you like this video, you may also wanna check out this one here on the screen. And that's everything I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!